everybody, Alex Camilio here, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. And this week we are bringing you a topic that is near and, well, I won't say dear to my heart, which is that I have had two hard drives crash in the last month. I know, crazy, right? Luckily though, I teach people how you can back up your computer in a way that your files stay secure and easily restorable should something like this happen to you. So I figured, why not come and share that with you today? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna share my top three strategies that you can use to make sure that you're backing up all of your, your files and folders correctly so that you can restore them without a huge headache. Before I get to that though, I'd like to mention something, which is that this is normally where I get the objection of someone saying, using print is a great way to back up. It won't, you can't lose all that digital stuff if it's in print. The problem though, is that that couldn't be further from the truth. Beyond things like natural disasters and fires and so on, even little things can happen beyond what you might be able to foresee. And actually, I have a great story to relay to you along those lines. A few years ago, I was down speaking for the North Carolina Association of Realtors, woot woot, North Carolina Association, thanks so much. Um, and I get off stage and a broker decides to tell me a story about what happened to their brokerage. And I'll leave the brokerage name uh, nameless at this point. But basically what they said is that they had decided to store all of their files, their paper files, um, at a secure facility, which makes sense, right? Go store all your files in a place that's meant for that sort of humidity and temperature and all that sort of stuff. The problem though, is that a sewage line opened on the floor above and soaked the entire records room. And then under federal mandate, now because that's all a biohazard, well, it had to be burned and destroyed. So simply because of a pipe opening on the floor above, they lost all of their print files in one fell swoop. So keep in mind that story if you're ever thinking about paper being the best way to back up your, your software, your files. Now beyond that, we're gonna get into the three tactics that we use, and they're really pretty simple. First, you're gonna organize your files correctly. Second, you're gonna back up in three places. And third, you're gonna sync all of those mobile devices together. Now, what do I mean by organize your files correctly? Well, a lot of folks out there will organize their files in a way where they have one folder that they may back up uh, to the cloud, to Dropbox or OneDrive or uh, Google Drive or iCloud. And that folder might be great to back up, but then they have all of the rest of their computer that, they're, that people are not necessarily backing up. And should something happen, a lot of that could get lost. Well, here's where I want to change that notion a little bit. In reality, what you should be doing is creating one very top level folder for absolutely everything. All of your files, your pictures, your documents, it doesn't matter. All of those things should be going into one file, one folder, and then all the subfolders underneath. That way you can just pick that one main folder and say, this is the thing I'm backing up and be sure that everything gets lumped in underneath it. Now, one thing we hear from a lot of real estate professionals at this point is that, but Alex, I'm using this computer for both work and personal. I don't want to, you know, co-mingle the two. Well, it's as easy as creating two folders. Underneath that one main parent folder, you're going to go and you're going to create two. One that says business, one that says personal. Super simple, um, easy as that. And then everything underneath gets backed up accordingly. The real trick in this is making sure that all of those files, um, you know, things that you're downloading, make it into those folders that are getting backed up. Maybe it's, you know, not dropping everything onto your desktop or not keeping everything in a downloads folder, for example, right? But actually moving those things when you get them. So that's point number one. Point number two is that you need to back up your computer in three. That's right. I said three different places. Amazing, isn't it? And that's because computers and the cloud, it's rare, but it does happen. Um, computers and the cloud can get corrupted at the same time. If something gets corrupted while it's uploading, sometimes that corrupted version gets uploaded and all of a sudden the cloud and your computer aren't necessarily doing it. That's why we recommend three places. And what those three places are, are A, your local computer, 
That's just the files that's stored on your computer itself. Um, B is you want to store something to the cloud. And we give a lot of information in the article about services that you can use for the cloud. Personally, I use Google Drive. But one thing I will mention, a little hint here, don't use Dropbox. I know everybody's like, wait, what? Don't use Dropbox. Dropbox has had a bunch of security issues over the last few years, um, including releasing 68 million usernames and passwords uh, just a couple years ago. So you might want to stay away from Dropbox when you're doing um, or when you're picking your cloud solution. And if you're working on it right now, it might be worth moving away from Dropbox. But that being said, there's a lot of information in the article itself about what are the cloud services that you might want to think about. Now, after your local computer and the cloud, you want to make sure that you're backed up to a local hard drive. That's going to be one of those USB style plug it into the side of your computer type hard drives and then you're going to back up to there. Now with a hard drive like that I would recommend backing up every two to three days at week at the absolute most. You really don't want to stretch it more than say two or three days um, of losing files because that's a whole week's uh, work of work that could be lost. So you want to make sure that you're backing it up every two to three days or, or really making sure that it could be even a day um, if you've done a big project or worked on a lot of documents or things like that. That way, if by chance your computer and the cloud happen to go awry at the same time, you have another backup in place, right? Last but not least, third point in all of this is you want to make sure that you are syncing all of your devices as well. Okay, syncing all of your devices as well. And what I mean by that is pay just as much attention to backing up your phone, your Android, your iPhone, your tablet, your iPad, all those sorts of things. Just as much attention to backing that up as you are paying attention to backing up your computer. We live on our phones at this point. In fact, in many cases, my phone holds information that um, on a daily basis that could even be more critical to my business than what might rely on my computer or what might lie on my computer. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to this. Now this could be as easy as turning on some of the cloud uh, storage services. iPhone has the iCloud. Uh, Android has similar services with Drive and their backup systems. So you want to make sure to turn those on. And again, we include some links in the article itself about the best ways and the best solutions to turn on that backup on your mobile devices. So let's cover those three points. First, you're going to organize your computer correctly. You're going to make one main folder that you can put everything in and then organize all the subfolders in that. Number two, you're going to back up your computer to three different places and there's a ton more info in the article about how you can do that and the ins and outs and details of really just walking you through how to do that. And third, you're going to pay attention to all of your devices, your mobile, your tablet, and your computer in backing up all of those sources simultaneously. So, you feel a little bit better about backing up? I tr Trust me, it is not as bad as it sounds. Um, take a little bit of time, walk through the article, make sure you know how to do this, make sure you're set up to do this, because I promise you, a little bit of work now will save you a ton of work on the other end. So that being said, this has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. Please give us a share, a like, a love, a comment. Um, if you have questions, please comment either on Facebook or underneath the blog post. We would be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have on this subject. Um, we really want to see you backing up your computer. And as you can see, I've gotten my machine back up and running. Had to do it a couple of times now. Flawless, absolutely flawless to do so. And I hope that you can get into that same place. So as you've heard, Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com, signing out.